This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. You join me at half past four in the morning. We're in the yard just doing some checks on our truck. Uh, we are loaded with this sort of like flooring stuff. We're on our way to Carmarvin this morning. I uh, don't know what we're doing from there, but this is going to someone that sells diggers up in Carmarvin. And it's like a two mile, the last two miles is single track road. So it could be, <laughs> could be interesting. Um, there's another truck going as well. I suspect he's going to be there before me. So there is a chance we might meet him on the way out, which is not going to be ideal. Um, yeah, welcome to my channel. We need to go get some fuel, but let me show you what we've got on quickly. So if you saw my last video, you saw me get loaded with these. These are like basically flooring mats. Uh, they, and they go on the floor basically. Uh, we've got, they gave three high for the first three rows and then two high for, uh, for the last row. For the first three rows, we've got two straps going over in the, in the first two, and another two straps going over the top two. That's what we've got going on for the first three ones, three rows. And then the last one is just, just nice and easy, two straps over. So yeah, lovely jubbly. Just checking it all over, we've done our checks. Everything is good. I think that's a bat, I don't think you can see that. I think that's a bat. That's a bat, I think. <laughs> so yeah, checks are done. We can jump inside the truck now and, uh, and crack on. Okay, we're in the truck. We do have um, GoPro set up. GoPro set up over there as well. So we will have GoPro footage later on. But for now, hang on, let me turn that orange light on. Red light on. For now, we're gonna crack on. I'll see you when we get a bit closer to Carmarvin. It will be daylight out and um, yeah, we'll start going down those country roads. Let's see you in a bit. Okay, I lied. I actually need to get fuel. <laughs> so we're at the fuel station now. We're gonna fill her up and then we can crack on from there. We're looking like getting there just after eight o'clock this morning. Um, I was told that someone would be there from 7.30. So hopefully that'd be all right, fingers crossed. Now we had about a quarter of a tank, so I suspect we're probably less than 300, I suspect. So it should end any any set moment now, really, from 250. Don't think it'll last too much longer. Okay, just finished 265. Okay. It was 265, I managed to squeeze it up to 280, so that's good. Let's close that and let's put this back on. I suppose better go pay now. Right, we've filled up a fuel. Like I said, put 280 litres in in the end, so we've got four tank. We did have a quarter of a tank, but, um, yeah. Where we're going is still a good two and a half uh, hours away from where we filled up. Plus coming back, that's then five hours. And although there are fuel stations in Wales, um, I like to just fill up with places that I know. So Filled up at Lee Delamere Services. Got a few uh, few lorries here with beacons on, carrying heavy loads. We're just about to go over the bridge to cross over into Wales. International trucking, here we come. <laughs> Uh, that's not funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're on the Wales Bridge now. Prince of Wales Bridge. Um, so yeah, like I was saying earlier, the last couple of miles up to this place is uh, is, is literally single track road. Uh, I believe I may have been up and down it or somewhere near it in the past uh, in another video, but. Um, yeah, it doesn't look to be a lot of passing spaces for a car and a lorry, let alone a lorry and a lorry. So I'm not really looking forward to meeting another lorry coming back out. Um, or oh, as I'm going in and one's coming out, or as I'm going out and one's coming in. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, hopefully we... Uh, I, I will film. I will film the uh, the two miles there when we get there. Hopefully we don't meet anyone. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we're still two hours and 15 minutes away from the delivery point. So we, uh, we'll get our foot down. Daylight is coming. Um, I think it's, I think it's um, sunrise now, pretty much, back there. 
I think sunrise in Wales I think when I asked Google it was like 6.13 or something which is in another 20 minutes but it's pretty light out already so I imagine uh, it won't be too long so when we do get there it will be daylight because like I said we're still two hours away and it's pretty much sunrise almost now so it will be light it will be light and when I spoke to Kieran yesterday he said that he didn't know what I was doing he couldn't get any work um, in this area so it could be actually that we're driving all the way back um, to Avonmouth at least which is going to be like two and a half hours <laughs> driving empty so that is a possibility we'll see he might have found something by then I don't know I think he was, he was trying to find something in Cardiff but hey that's not my that's not, not my problem I just go where I'm sending <laughs> right I'll um, this time I will see when we're in Carmarthen um, so yeah see you in a bit Right, this is, I think it's like Red Cross or something, Red red Roses, that's it. I've come off at this junction before. I've remembered, um, I have collected from a place called Prince's Gate or something. Uh, and I've got a load of like water bottles. And it's sort of around that area. And this is the way I came in from there. Only I approached from that direction. So we are now off the main roads and on B roads. So all right, to begin with, we're about five miles away currently, but the last two miles is is single track road. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. But um, the next little bit is should we see? A little bit tight, but not too tight. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just this is it's a B road basically. We do you have a car behind us? I do apologise if you follow us the whole entire way. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a caravan place here on the right, and we make a left hand turn. And then when I went to Prince's Gate, I think I took like the middle road, I want to say. I also recall seeing, yeah, we're turning left here. I recall seeing uh, lorries parked up somewhere around here last time I come here. Got to use the engine brake a little bit down these roads. I'm going to smoke my brakes out otherwise. Engine brake. So yeah, the road I was referring to there's like, it splits into three. And this, it might be over here actually, where I was thinking where the lorry park was and the caravans. There's definitely a caravan place back there as well. Um, but yeah, the road splits into three. And I believe last time I took the middle route, whereas this time we need to take the right route. Once we get up this hill, that is. Bloody hell. Right, so the road splits into three on the right and it splits into three on the left. We were on one of the, uh, one of the roads on this side. And then it splits into like two more on the right, which makes three. One plus two equals three. And then as we get round here, the road splits again into another three, um, I believe. Or is it two? No, I think it is three. So we want to keep to the right, yeah. So one, two, three. But we want to keep to the right. Last time I went up the middle and then turned right, because that's what all the reviews were saying to get to the Prince's Gate. I'm not going to the Prince's Gate, I'm going somewhere else. But if you follow this road up, it takes you to the same place when you turn left. So um, we're only around the corner from where we done our collection a while back. garden centre. I haven't delivered to that one. Plausible though that one day I will. Right, there's a few uh, there's a few ridges coming down truck wise. Well, I'm hoping they're not coming down this road. If the road if the road I gotta take is anything like that one, it looks snug. <laughs> oh dear. Another mile to go and we've got to turn right. So I have researched it. We, I got the postcode last night and the delivery details. So I have had a look at the routes in and um, every route in looks snug. This appears to be the best route in from what I can see. 
Um, so hopefully we pick the right one. Basically, it's not just a whim. Oh my gosh. It's the next right. It's not just a whim. I'm not just picking any random road. It's, I've done research. I've looked at Street View. This looks like the best road in. Hopefully we can make this right turn because it looks quite sharp on the maps. Hope we can make the turn. Right, indicating right. This is where it's going to start in, getting interesting. This is where the anxiety starts to kick in as well. Ooh. Mate, that looks snug. I am not sure I can make that. I'm going to have to do a reverse. <laughs> I'm not going to make that turn. Right, okay. Second option. Second option is a second left out of here. Getting flustered. Second option is a is another right hand turn up the road. And hopefully we can make that one. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh dearie me, that looks a bit snug. Right. This was going to be my second option. Look, Princess Gate, look. This was going to be my second option to getting in. And the reason I didn't pick it was because it looks like a little bridge with a left-hand kink. And I wasn't sure if I can get round, but... We're going to have to. <laughs> um, what's this here? There's a sign now. Well, if we can drive in somewhere, we can get out. Is that saying the road is closed? They say there's a road closure down there. Sunday. Iron Man Wales Sunday September road closed. So I don't think it's closed now. Okay. Indicate right. And the signs, although the signs are visible, they're not actually set up, if that makes sense. They should really be swapped around the other way if the road is opened. This could be interesting. So we can turn around there probably if we needed to. I'm just looking for places to turn around now, just in case we have to. We've got a right-hand turn coming up. It looks like another sharp right-hand turn. The reason why I'm led to believe this is the better way in is because once you get to the actual destination we're going to, from this direction, there are signs saying where we're going, turn left. And there wasn't anything coming from the other direction, so I am led to believe that this is the correct one. I haven't got a contact number to call, or as I would. Okay, can I make this right turn? Yeah, it should be good. Loads of room. As long as there's no vehicles coming the other way. Road closed here for one day. 23rd of the 8th. That's the day. Okay, we might be able to get in, but not out. <laughs> it said road closed here. This looks wide enough potentially to spin round on if I had to. Give it a good go. Right, before I continue, I am just going to park up 
I just double check the route because the road is going to go single track now. Okay, so I have done my research, so I know it's about to go single track. I think we'll be okay. One and a half miles. So it's actually half a mile less single track than what it was the other one I was going to take. This could go wrong. <laughs> Does every way in look single track? Now would be a good time to tell you that I'm doing 17 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour now. If it looks like I'm going any faster, it's because it's wide angle lens. Oh, this, this isn't single track. Uh, there's like a, a thing where if you've got a wide angle lens, it looks like you're going faster. I'll zoom in now. I'm going the exact same speed, but um, I've just zoomed the footage in. It doesn't look like I'm going quite as fast as it does now when I go back to normal speed. Uh, not normal speed, normal angle. So yeah, that's uh, it's just the wide angle lens effect. Now, this was my concern, this bit here. This little left kink, but yeah, I can make that, that's all right. There's no weight limit, there's no width limit, there's no height limit. There's nothing to say I can't come down here, other than a van that could be parked quite precariously. We can get around it. Pushes. We've got to try and get up this hill now. Great. I take it I'm going back, am I? Come on, mate. Oh, you're going there. Okay. You will arrive at your destination at 8.23. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try again. <sighs> Diff lock is on. Why did you change it? Come on! You can do it! I'm in manual. Come on. Oh, anxiety, 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 anxiety. We've got another hill coming. Okay, let's gain some speed. I can see there's nothing coming. Ah, it's not as steep as everyone. Oh, oh my gosh, I thought I was stuck. I thought I was stuck then. We're only half a mile away, give or take, just over.
Okay, if we had to, we can turn around here. That's good. Because I'm loaded, I'm quite heavy, so that's why I lost traction. Um, get, going out empty will be fine. Plus, it's mostly downhill. <laughs> but we're pretty much here now. Just go through this traffic, or these parked vehicles, and then we make a left turn, and then we are there. So we've made it. <laughs> So yeah, left hand turn here. I think we were arriving originally from up there. Oh yeah, that looks way worse. I think the way I came in was the best. So I'm just turning up now and the other lorry that got loaded with me is here look, as well. Just turned up at the same time pretty much. Bang tidy, let's go say hello. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, so we've been here now for about an hour. We're still in the same place. I think the Teleander has a flat tire. <laughs> so, <laughs> not good, not good. Uh, the truck is still in front of me as well. The one has arrived already. So, it's just a case of just hanging fire. I've just been talking to him, just had to move because the tractor's come down. So, yes, the wait continues. Here we go, look, get myself one of them. Robotic lawnmower. Right, he's gone on down now. I'm not undoing all the straps, I'm just undoing the ones on the bottom. So it'll still be strapped up on the top. Yeah, now that he's gone in, hopefully we can uh, get going soon. Well, right, I'm just gonna pull it forward, make it easier then for the tractor to get past me. And then we're going to take a look. All right, it's gonna have a wander. See where we're tipping, because I don't actually know yet. Apparently it's a bit of a walk there though. Well, yeah, it is a bit of a walk, you know. Can't even see anyone yet. Jesus. Hello? No. Still, we're walking. <laughs> I hope it's down here. Oh, it's walked for no reason. The, uh, the other delivery driver said that he's already been down and had a look. He said it's best to reverse in and drive out, I think. Or was it drive in and reverse out? can't remember <laughs> so it could be oh my god is it down there or is it down there i don't know it could be drive down there reverse this way maybe and let's have a look i've got no idea no idea uh, no wonder why he offered me a lift I, it's not down here no which means it's that long ass road down there huh, more horses hello Still we're walking. Okay, I think I'm starting to hear a machine, like a telehander. <sighs> so I think it's down here. We're parked like all the way over there. I literally just want confirmation that this is where I need to drive down. I don't want to drive all the way down here for no reason. <laughs> <sighs> yep, so that's the truck that was uh, in front of me. So at least now I know coming down here. I think I need to reverse up there. I think that's what needs to be done. Reverse up there from here, which will be a bit snug. Oh, bloody hell, it is a bit snug. And then drive back out. We saw that when we get here. <laughs> Let's walk back. Well, he just got spotted from uh, that driver. Thanks for watching, mate. Do you appreciate it? 
Then let's walk back to the truck. There she is. That was a uh, bit of a walk, but glad I done it. Okay, situation report. We are now in and we are being offloaded. You may remember, as I come in, I said there was a road closure sign. Road closed here for one day. 23rd of the 8th. That's today. And I said something along the lines of, ah, that's today. Well, yeah, it is. The other driver has gone out, has turned right, and uh, he's now stuck in the road closure. <laughs> Um, so we are going to have to go left. I have been told it is very tight, but it is doable, is what they said. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting up on the sat nav now. We've got to go over a train track and then like a 90 degree right hand turn. <sighs> Bloody wheels. Right, tips. Let the fun begin. Let the games commence. Oh crap. Just took it off my sat nav. <laughs> Lovely. Let's see if we can get out in one go. does look very tight. Need to get turning. We've got a trailer on our left side that we've got to try and avoid. Just going to do a couple of shunts. Another shunt. Not quite the one guy I was hoping. All right. What do you want to pull it this way again? Um, I think if that Manitou moves, you should make it, I reckon. It goes straight forward, is it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hang on, I can push this back, maybe. Uh, no, that won't be the issue. I think it's just this. We get out in a sec, I think. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Are you passing out? Got it? I think we got it, yeah. Just seeing if this, what he's doing, is he going backwards? Yeah, we got it. Lovely, thank you, mate. See you later. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Right.
Or is that the easy bit or the hard bit? I don't know. <laughs> So we come from the right, everyone is saying go left, so we go left. All right, wish me luck. I, say, I think most of it's fine, this is all fine. It's literally going over the train track bridge. That's going to be the tightest bit. Of course, we also don't really want to meet any traffic at all, not even cars. Doesn't appear to be many uh, passing places. It's all right, it's really nice weather this morning coming uh, from Bristol. I mean, it might have been dark, but it wasn't raining and you could see the sun clearly coming up behind. There was no clouds. As soon as I entered Wales, cloudy and rainy. So hopefully it'll uh, be a bit nicer when we get to Swindon and in Tebury. One mile to go. We've got a person walk in. Let's go past slowly. Looks like an elderly gentleman. All good so far, all gravy baby. One more mile to go and we'll be there. That looks like a relatively steep hill approaching. Nothing coming down that I can see. This is very narrow. Oh, let's not get stuck on this hill. We are empty now. That's unsuitable for motor vehicles, that road. going on here and this actually says unsuitable for long vehicles but it's the way everyone's told me to go uh, we might have trouble here You can, <laughs> if you can see terror on my face, it's because I am now terrified. I hope we can make that right-hand turn. Sorry, Whew, I've been very quiet. If that's the worst of it, we're okay, but there's literally a sign saying unsuitable for long vehicles and I am in a long vehicle. I think worst case scenario, if we can't make the right-hand turn, there is a farm up ahead we can get off the track, off the road. I think, I think we're gonna be okay. I think that was the worst of it back there. I was not expecting that at all.
Yeah, we're good. We're good. We can make that. Oh my god. Let's make this nice and wide just so we can make it. I promise you, I did not just go down that road willy-nilly. I planned the road. I was recommended the road. Everyone told me it was going to be tight. It was going to be snug. That was the only way out. Wow, there was another way out equally as tight. And the way out that I come in, which would have been suitable, is closed. Thankfully, we haven't come across any vehicles whatsoever. Thank God. <laughs> oh! Oh, anxiety! Oh. Oh. Anxiety. Anxiety levels maxed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. There's another sign there that like, says unsuitable. Yeah, it does. Oh my God. That, that was interesting. I can see now why the rigid driver said he would not want to take an Arctic down there. I, <laughs> I need to go. Um, I am gonna see you when we're in Swindon dropping this trailer. Oh my God. Now I'm recording this the day after. Um, I just want to put my hands up and say, I messed up. I should not have gone down that road. And that wasn't the road. I don't believe now looking back that they were telling me to go down. Um, I think I misunderstood what they were saying. They, Cause all I sort of took away in my head was go over the train track, go over the train track. Uh, and then you get to the A40. And that was the train track that I saw. So I thought, okay, so I've got to follow that road. That wasn't the road I was supposed to follow. So this was the road on question. So I was coming from the south, the road coming from the bottom of the road, um, from the bottom of the road. Uh, and I went straight up. So as you see there, 12 o'clock, that was the turn and that was the, the road that said not, not suitable for long vehicles. That was the road I took. And I went this way because of this bridge and this train track. That was the train track that I thought I was told to go over. So that was the route I thought I had to take. Um, I was wrong. I was wrong, I shouldn't have gone that way. What I actually should have done is back at the original route, rather than going straight over, I should have turned right, followed this blue road all the way until I would have got to like this little village here. Then I could have taken, uh, taken a left-hand turn here and gone over the train track, which is on screen now. That is the way I should have gone. Um, it was completely a misunderstanding on my behalf, and yeah, I messed up. I'm man enough to admit, though, that I did mess up. So, um, yeah, lucky escape, I think. Um, <laughs> that was sketchy, I'm not going to lie. And I should not have gone down there, but I did. I got through, luckily. Um, and I wasn't on BBC News later on that night. <laughs> anyway, onwards with the video. Right, you join me in Swindon. More importantly, you join me in B-Right Sawmill. We've got to drop this trailer right here. First thing we're going to do is hire the suspension because it will be fully loaded and the neck will drop. So we're going to hire that up and then we can put timber on underneath the legs. Okay, the trailer has been dropped. Wow, it's about to be. Now it's dropped. <laughs> right, I might be back yet to pick it up. I'm not planned to be. Planned to go and get a trailer now solo. I'm going to take this off. Plan to go get a trailer solo and then um, go back to the yard. But I can see him saying, Drop that trailer, come back and get this trailer, and then drop this trailer. I'm just, yeah, a bit of messing around. Got a car coming. Oh, anyway, I shall see you at the airfield. See you in a bit. So, yeah, we're going to grab a number plate. We'll uh, have a put this on first if, uh, if it's empty inside. Should be. Mm -hmm. 
It is empty inside. Cool, internals are over there. We're gonna need them. Go. Cool, let's put this on and then hitch up. Lovely. Right, we are hitched up. Airlines are on, kingpin engaged. Legs are up. I'm just trying to find the trailer brake. It's on different places. <laughs> Every trailer is different. I'm hoping and assuming it's over here. Here we go. Push that bad boy in. And then we're good to go, but we're not gonna go yet. I'm gonna jump back in the truck now and have a 45 minute break. And uh, then we will re resume. I'll probably see you at Tetbury. Or maybe when I leave here, I don't know. But I'll see you in 45 minutes. Right, one more minute and then we can crack on. Like I said, this is where we parked up. I haven't seen anything take off or land. So never mind. Um, yeah, we're just gonna crack on to Tetbury. I shall see you when we get there. I don't think I'm gonna film this this load today. There's no point really showing you too much, but um, I will see you at Tetbury nonetheless. See you in a bit. We got loaded, we went on the way bridge and we we're overweight, so we've had to take pallet off. We're at Tetbury, uh, and we was loaded with 24 pallets. We've only got 23 now, I need to cross out on the paperwork. Just gonna get reweighed. Looking for a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Lovely. Thumbs up, we're good to go. Ugh. Let's just get around the corner. I'm not gonna show any dash cam footage. Right, turn the aircon on, windows up. Okay, so that's us done for today. I'm just going to take my high-vis off and sort some paperwork out before continuing. I could also do with phone in this place we're going to, just so I can arrange a delivery for the morning because um, it's going to a nursery. Cool, let's speak to the company. See what time they can take a delivery. See you in the morning. Okay. Thank you. See you then. Cheers, bye bye. Cheers, bye. So I just had a bug in the windscreen. Um, yeah, in the windscreen. I think it comes through the passenger window <laughs> from the trees. I just got it out. Right, so we just phoned the company up. Uh, I know rough, uh, yeah, I know what entrance to take now, so that's good. Lovely, right, let's crack on. I'm going to go back to the yard now. We're done for the day. Let's see that on. Uh, and that is also gonna be the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. It was a bit of a, um, <laughs> bit of a, an anxiety moment earlier on in Wales. Um, but we did it, we got around it. it mm, looking back on it, it maybe was a bit dodgy going down a road that said unsuitable for long vehicles. And I most certainly would not have gone down there if it hadn't have been for the advice I took on by three different people saying that, yeah, that's the only way to go out other than the way I come in. And I couldn't go in the way I come in because the road was closed. So, um, yeah <laughs> that seemed to <laughs> i don't want to go deliver there again anytime soon that's for sure <laughs> um but we we made it we made it <sighs> the day the day is nearly finished anyway thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it hopefully you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like a comment a subscribe don't forget to subscribe that's the main thing for me i need to get my subscribers up get that 100,000 subscriber plaque that's my dream might sound sad but it is i've always wanted a plaque <laughs> uh so yeah thanks for watching until next time drive safe stay safe i will see you soon i've been luke thanks for watching bye bye